Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? Welcome on back into this Booze and Food Kitchen. I'm Shelia Edwards, and you know you're always welcome in my kitchen. You found your peak today? If you haven't, don't worry. It's still daylight and the day is not over yet, so you still have time to get that peak on. Now, let's talk about how we're going to be getting this kitchen a little dirty today with this dirty, dirty rice. Yes, I'm excited about it because I really love rice as a base, but to put the ingredients in it that brings it on up to that next level is something I love even more. So get in this kitchen with me today and let's get over here on this stove and get this dirty rice together and we're going to be eating good in no time. I'll meet you over here on the stove, y'all. To start our dirty rice, we've already cooked, um, this is four cups of cooked rice. Now you don't want to overcook it. Um, you know, just cook it uh, till it's, you know, just light and fluffy, just like this. And this recipe needs to be done with some rice that is cool, not hot rice, okay? So we're gonna put this to the side and continue with our next ingredient. What we are cooking now is our uh, chicken livers uh, for this recipe. And I'm uh, cooking, this is a pound, is a pound of uh, just chicken livers. And if you do not like chicken livers, you can substitute uh, chicken thighs, cut up chicken thighs for this recipe. And this again is a pound. And it cooks in about 20 to 30 minutes. But you want it to cook basically until it's brown. They cook really quickly and as you can see, these are already turning this um, like a, a muddy brown color that they'll be. Okay, so we're gonna let that go until they're done and then we'll remove those and chop them up. So our um, chicken livers have finished cooking and what I want to do now is pour them in this colander to drain them and you see that, that uh, that's the look that we want uh, when they're ready. Uh, we just want to drain them now and we're going to reserve um, the broth from these chicken livers because we're going to need these to pull this uh, recipe together. So we're going to let these cool and then we're going to be chopping these up into small little pieces. So what we have going in this um, uh, pot now is I have two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and two tablespoons of vegetable oil this little vegetable oil here and what we're going to do is we're going to create a little roux here so I'm going to basically stir this and let it cook until the, it's more of a brownish color rather than uh, what you see now this pasty um, brown I mean a whitish uh, color Okay, so we'll go here about five or six minutes until it gets brown, and then we'll be ready to add our next ingredient. So we have achieved the pretty brown color that we're looking for. So I just want to make sure you can see, see it's almost copper, like a pretty, like I mean, like a penny. Let me take this out so you can really see the color there. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna start adding our sausage and I'm using um, turkey sausage uh, in my um, uh, rice here. I, I love turkey sausage but uh, by all means feel free to use um, the pork sausage if you uh, desire that. Okay? So I'm gonna break this up and I'm basically gonna brown my sausage right here in this uh, roux. Make sure you, when you're cooking your roux, make sure that you're watching it uh, really well so it does not burn. And then after you put your sausage in there, you're pretty good to go. And I'm just gonna keep uh, doing this until I have browned this up and then I'll be adding my next ingredients. Okay, so our ground uh, um, breakfast sausage is um, pretty much browned at this point. So now what we want to do is add our uh, vegetable. I'm adding a cup of onions, some white onions there. I'm adding a cup of bell pepper. 
and I use green and red peppers, but by all means you can use one color if that's what you choose to do. And I'm adding two tablespoons of garlic here. And we're gonna let this uh, go until our vegetable have softened and my eye is uh, turned down uh, uh, about a medium. And so this is gonna be about, I guess about five minutes or so until this is all uh, ready for us to add the other ingredients. Okay, so our vegetables are pretty soft in here. So now we're ready to uh, season it up. Okay, I am going to start with um, this little basil that I'm putting in there. I'm gonna put about, and I usually don't measure these ingredients, I just usually put them in there until my spirit says enough. I'm gonna try to measure them today. So I'm putting in a teaspoon of basil. I'm gonna put in two, two good teaspoons of this uh, Cajun uh, seasoning. Two good ones in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some uh, parsley flakes. I'm gonna put two, two good teaspoons of those in there, so I like that color. Now I'll put in a teaspoon of uh, paprika. I hope I'm showing every ingredient here. Paprika, and I know it's some paprika in that Cajun seasoning, but I still like the color that it brings over there. All right, now uh, as far as um, salt, I know I'm not big on, on uh, salt, but it's just a little salt. I'm gonna put uh, about a good teaspoon of salt in there, because we do need some salt uh, in that rice, all right? And now I have uh, celery seeds here, and I'm just gonna put about a tea, cause you know, some people actually put celery in there, and sometimes actually I do, but this time I'm choosing to use uh, my celery seeds. I'm gonna put just a hint of sage in there, not too much. It's not um, something a lot of people put in there, but I like the little hint of flavor that it has in the background of what I'm making this um, dish. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of curry simply because I like it, but traditionally, I don't think it's put in uh, to uh, dirty rice. So I'm gonna get this all stirred up here. All right. Now I'm gonna get my jalapenos in there. I put in that, that's about a tablespoon of a jalapenos um, that I added to this uh, this dish. Now it's going well there. I'm gonna put my um, my chicken uh, livers back in there. You see I've chopped them up. They look like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate them back into the uh, sausage mixture. get that stirred. Then we're gonna get a little liquid in here and then we'll be ready to put our rice in. Okay, so we're back and all of these flavors are playing together very nicely. It smells so good. So now I'm gonna put some liquids in here. I have a half cup of that broth from the um, from when we did the um, chicken livers. And I like to pour, it was a little bit more than a half cup left there, uh, but I like to pour the top off and I like to get what's at the bottom. And I, now I'm scraping up the bottom of this pan, a little fawn is down there. That's that good stuff that sticks uh, while your dish is cooking. So that was a half cup of uh, the broth. Now this right here is a half cup of beer. Yeah, you, you know it was gonna be some booze. You're probably waiting and saying, how's she gonna get some booze in the dirty rice? But I'm using a little bit of this Mickey's right here. And so I'm gonna get that stirred just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Now what you see me doing is gradually adding the rice back and I'm going to turn this eye down as low as it could possibly go uh, while I'm putting the rice back in there because I want some of this liquid uh, to still cook down. And now, oh, that beer smells good. And now we're going to start to kind of toss everything around in this pot. Now, some people, when they do their dirty rice, after they uh, get everything kind of incorporated here, they'll put theirs in a casserole dish and then sit it in the oven for a, a little while. And I usually do that if I'm going to be serving uh, you know, people at the house, and I want to put it on the on the serving in a serving bowl to kind of keep it warm in the oven. I'll do that sometimes, but you know, for the most part, I don't. I just put it all together here, and when it's ready, it's ready. So we're gonna keep incorporating um, this, and we'll be ready to eat in a minute. Okay, so after getting everything incorporated, you see it's looking like this at this point. Okay. Very nice. And now, let me show you how fluffy it is. It's fluffy like this because we did not overcook our rice, right? Now, if you feel that uh, when you put yours all together, you say, oh, mine, I think it's a little dry. Or if you're going to sit in an oven, you want to uh, sit it in the oven for a little while, uh, while your guests are arriving or what have you, uh, you might say, oh, it might get a little dry. You have the freedom to add just a little bit more of the broth that came off of those chicken livers. You just put just a little bit in there. Don't put too much because you do not want to overcook your rice or, you know, make it, uh, make this thing soupy because it's not a soupy dish. At any rate, here we are. And this is done. Now what I do like to do at the end is I, I do like to add a few little uh, scallions over there garnish with it or just put you know right in there before your guests arrive and you have a beautiful dish and there she is y'all y'all uh beer <laughs> dirty rice enjoy Everything came out just beautifully. And you saw that as we were putting it together. Y'all, I'm not going to stay in here for long. I just want to thank you for joining me with this recipe. I invite you always to give these wonderful recipes a try. The alcohol added to it only enhances um, the flavor. And you're going to love the outcome. Just give it a try. And if you like this recipe, you already know what to do. Well, I'm not going to stay in your hair much longer. I'm going to go on and get my mouth a little dirty with this dirty, dirty rice, y'all. And uh, keep joining me each week as I post my recipes. I enjoy when you all tell me that you're trying, trying uh, out my recipes. I appreciate you doing that. It makes me feel, feel good. And you know it's always going to be boozy in this kitchen now. You know that. And you know also. I'm about ready to go on and get into this rice and don't say anything about the eating my rice with a spoon because y'all, I don't want to leave not one grain in this bowl. So let me go on and get with it, y'all. And y'all have a good rest of the day. Hmm.